Okay, uh, I made a mistake when I had my, uh, had a little foil hooked up. And it was definitely working. It was sending a, it was sending a voltage spike to the igniter. Kind of hard to see. And, uh, it was... It was sending the IGF signal. These are IGF signals. And I got them all. All six of them. Uh, my car is running rough though, and I think I know why. Uh, I made a mistake and I was rigging this up. And the way I, the way I hooked it up the second time, I basically was connecting the control volts directly into the igniter. I, I did that by mistake. I, I bypassed this coil. But it didn't make much difference anyway because this coil has so little resistance. When you hook the coil up, I get voltage spiked to about 40 volts, which is normal. And it goes into the igniter. And made the mistake and discovered that you can directly feed voltage from the battery directly into the igniter. I'm doing this on, I'm doing this on cylinder one and two. These are, the, these are going directly into the igniter. And as you can see, the igniter sees voltage of about 14 volts. I'm measuring it through here. And it's sending the signal to the ECU saying, I fired. I, I always thought it needed a spike. When, I, when you read the tech manuals it says spike. It doesn't need a spike, it just needs a decent voltage going through. Um, only issues would be if you start the car the voltage is going to be very low, so maybe it won't uh, send that IGF signal. You might not have to worry about that anyway because it doesn't take long to start the car. But really, what's well, I think my car is misfiring, and I don't have time to test this today. I will test this. I can't even test it tomorrow. I, I, uh, I won't be home tomorrow. The reason I think my car is running rough is because. When the, when the igniter closes the negative to, closes its negative, it's sucking up a bunch of power. Well, that means the, it might be sucking up power that the coil was one. So I might rewire this. Uh, maybe a really big capacitors. Might work. I'm not sure. I believe that's why. Uh, probably, I could probably do a little testing. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to take a look at the coils and see if they're fully uh, charging or not. But, but as you can see, I got IGF signals. That's the big stuff. Getting the IGF signals is easy. You just put a voltage through it. You know, if I wanted to cut up my harness, which I don't want to do that right now. So I know I, I, I'm happy with what I'm going to do. You can just directly feed 12 volts into it. And I, I mean, if you turn the car off, this wouldn't have been beyond anyway. So you could, if you wanted to, I wouldn't do it. If you wanted to, you could go directly from the battery into the igniter. And if you turn the car off, nothing's going to happen because this is all being turned off. But I, I wouldn't do that one. I would use a switch source. What I believe what's happening right now is this sucks a lot of power. This is sucking a lot of power it's because uh, it's getting voltage directly. And then the coils are also want power and the coils are struggling to suck up the power they want. Um, um, so I believe that's what the problem is. 
wouldn't be too hard to actually for me to test it. I would just put my scope onto this uh, foil. And I might have some time to do that. Yeah, it's really late. I'm going to work tomorrow and I'm going to go home. So there it is. Remember this this right here is the IGF signal. These are IGF signals, negative volts. Oh, I got all six of them. But it seemed like uh, the ones that are directly shorted are more noisy. That's not normal. I've seen a lot of singles, and that's not normal. Let me see if I can show you another one. Nah. This, this scope's okay for cars. It's not okay for many other things. All right, this either one or two. I'm not sure. Uh, this is most likely uh, either three, four, five, or six. You see, it's not noisy. Mm. So, IGF signal, easy to get. We're gonna, uh, but, uh, wire it so it's not sucking up so much power from the foils. And got some solutions for that. I think that's what's going on, but I'm not 100% sure because the battery should be able to handle, in the alternator, should be able to handle what's going into here and what's uh, Going through those emission points. One solution I, I think for sure would work is I will use this coil as I was and I will change the ratio to step up. So I'll, I'm going to change the coil to a transformer, but I will put a resistor in it. Uh, you step up the voltage, but you, lose, you lower the current, basically. But since I put a resistor in there, it's going to lower the current even more. And so, basically, this this will still get a signal, but it's not going to suck up much juice at all. Another thing I could do is make a small DC to DC power supply and. Just feed that into here, and that won't use hardly any current. I, just, I don't think this needs a lot of current, it just needs the 12 volts. I'm not sure. But a little DC to DC power supply won't like being shorted out either, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. Maybe just a transistor, a small, simple transistor circuit. Okay. There it is. Six uh, IGF signals, and I'll tell you right now, these, uh, these cylinder one and cylinder two, it's not hooked up to the igniter at all. Okay. Uh, the only, I'm getting a uh, this is the ECU signals. Oh, huh. all of a sudden my car's running great. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure what I did. Yeah. Something, I touched something and my car is running good. So. Hmm. No, yeah, I'm inspired in, but something changed. My car is running a little better. Maybe I had a mistake in the, up there somewhere. Had a bad connection. Maybe one of these is bad. I don't know. I'm not sure. Still got a misfire though. That misfire is not normally there.
watch uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and disconnect one of these this, this, this batteries going into the coil uh, to the igniter watch I'll disconnect one you'll see you'll see one of these uh, signals drop let's right, see it see it's missing all right, I'll disconnect another one. So the ECU thinks only uh, five signals, are, five coils are fine. Let's, let me take one off. Another one off. Oop. Oh, card didn't like that. So there you have it. Disconnect one uh, IGF signal, car runs. I, I disconnected two, car turned off. I, I've run the car on five IGF signals before. It'll just keep running, but I just took two off. Uh, DC said, uh, screw that, and it turned off the car. Uh, I'm going to do some more testing on uh, Monday. I can't do anything tonight or tomorrow.